All right, quick pause, Hamda. We've got breaking news upon breaking news upon breaking news this hour. This is the last one coming into us just now. The Israeli military says that Iran has launched a missile from Iran into the territory of the state of Israel. We're now looking at live pictures of what may be, and I'm going to see if I can get confirmation of this in my earpiece, of what may be a missile possibly launched by Iran. We are seeing the live shots over the skies of Tel Aviv right now. So for context, for viewers who are just joining us, it is 1638 GMT. You're watching the skies over Tel Aviv of what may be, but I'm not in a position to confirm this right now, an Iranian missile or multiple Iranian missiles aimed at Tel Aviv. The context around this is that about two hours ago, a U.S. official let it be known that uh, Iran was preparing an imminent ballistic missile attack on Israel. And now this information, the Israeli military is saying that Iran has indeed launched a missile. Now you're seeing several streaks in the sky. I'm unable to tell you what exactly they are. Hamda, Okay, everybody bear with us as we are watching this live footage and we are unable to tell you right now ex the exact nature of what you're seeing, the streaks and the flares in the sky. These are the skies over Tel Aviv. Now the much wider context around all of this is that for the past year, there has been a huge question as to how Israel and Iran were going to conduct themselves towards one another. Okay, we're now seeing multiple dots or flares or missiles or rockets in the sky in a downwards trajectory towards Tel Aviv. You're hearing the, you're hearing the sirens. Okay, and now you're seeing flares in an upward trajectory, which would strongly suggest that is, this is Israel's anti-missile systems that are being activated. Whether it's anti-missile, anti-rocket, we will ask military experts in due time. But you have seen projectiles coming down over Tel Aviv, and they still are. Remember what happened in April. Back in April, Iran led its, all of this coming in live to us at Al Jazeera, the skies over Tel Aviv. So these flashes may well be, but again, we have to exercise extreme caution. These flashes may well be interceptions, interceptions of these projectiles. One, two, possibly three of them may or may not have hit their targets, may or may not have hit their targets in Tel Aviv. For an hour now, for, I beg your pardon, for a year now, we have been asking whether or not this could tilt into something even bigger than it has been. In other words, a direct, full-blown war. Oh, that's a direct hit. That is a direct hit on Tel Aviv. The flashes in the sky are likely to be interceptions of Iranian missiles but we did see one that appeared to land in Tel Aviv. So again, to that question that we've been asking for a year, so many of our analysts and commentators saying the situation between Israel and Gaza and then between Israel and Hezbollah carries with it a very big risk of a major regional confrontation.